Hello, welcome back to the channel. You join me in Lustrecht at the Volks Marina, and I've just finished filming aboard this Globemaster 50. I'm gonna take you on board and show you some of my favorite features. Please don't forget to give the video a like, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me take you on board. One of the features that I love about this boat is the fact that the owners have elected to have some steps on the stem, uh, which I think is a really good idea. It's another way to get on and off the boat, uh, which is quite unique. It's not something that I've seen before. Um, I also like the finish of the aluminium hull. Uh, obviously it's polished as it is, uh, as opposed to being painted. Uh, if ever you decided you wanted to order your own Globemaster 50, uh, then you can have a different finish if you want to. Uh, but yeah, I love this aluminium rugged, explorer style look. Uh, I think it is uh, a really nice kind of touch uh, and it really gives it a distinctive look and vibe as well. Um, but yeah, another feature which I think we have to mention is the size of this cockpit. But not only the size of it, the fact that you feel incredibly secure when you're in there, thanks to the size of these bulwarks. They are huge. You've got a tender obviously stowed aft. Uh, with its own davits, dedicated davits there. Uh, quite a considerably uh, sized tender as well. Let's jump on board. And I'll take you into the saloon. Obviously remember to wipe my feet. So here we have obviously a dining area on the port side. Uh, we've got a traditional stove over here as well, wood heater, uh, which I think is great. Oh, I love the smell from wood heaters, I don't know, something about them. Uh, we've got the galley space over here on the starboard side. Uh, we've got the hob, um, behind that is the oven, we've got a fridge, freezer, and a dishwasher over there as well. Now you probably noticed something that you don't often find on a uh, mono hull, is the fact that it's almost as if the hull has been sectioned off into a port and starboard side for the accommodation, and I'll show you that now. Uh, let's start over on the port side, where we find the utility room. Uh, decent size here. So the owners have elected to have this as a utility room, but if you really wanted to, uh, you could have this as an additional uh, single berth cabin as well. We've got a washer dryer over there, plenty of storage space, even somewhere to hang your clothes over there as they dry. Let's transition over to the starboard side. And here we have the double guest cabin. Uh, plenty of space in here. Uh, we do have some spotlights which are turned off, uh, but obviously when they're turned on, we have more light. But yeah, lots of headroom, loads of place to store your gear as well. And we have an ensuite, towel all over there, and a decent sized shower with a recessed step, uh, which means you get that additional headroom when you go in there for your shower. Plenty of portholes down here as well. Not only these two traditionally shaped portholes, but you've got a rectangular one over there as well. So lots of light coming into the area. When it comes to favorite features, another thing that I love is of course this helm position. And check out this view. So you can sit here in a captain's position, a very comfortable seat. This, as you can see, extends back, but if you want to stow it away, then you just push it forward like that. Got two Simrad multifunction displays. Uh, we've got the tiller control here. As you can see, there's not a traditional ship's wheel per se, uh, but you have the uh, tiller control. Thrust levers for the twin engines and all your other switches over there as well. But yeah, fantastic view here. I really do like it. The, uh, the owner was telling me that they often have one person sat there enjoying the view, obviously with the other person at the helm. We've got a starboard access door onto the side deck. Very rugged, well-built door. And up here, which is currently closed at the moment, uh, but you can open that up to get some additional light into this area. But yeah, I mean, look at the view. Thanks to that massive window aft, you can pretty much get a 360 degree view all around, which makes it a lot easier when you are operating this boat uh, as a couple, because you can pretty much see all sectors of the boat when you're coming alongside. 
yeah, it's a really, really good view. Let's take you down into the owner's cabin, which we find by descending these steps, down another step, and into the owner's cabin. A large bed, with storage under there. I'm not gonna lift it because I've only got one hand and I'll probably get myself stuck. And we've got the ensuite, down another step, which again means that we get extended headroom. One of the features that I really like is the fact that in the shower, you've got a shelf up there, which is above where the shower head is. So when you stay in all of your toiletries, you're not gonna to have to keep cleaning it over there because you're not gonna get water on there uh, from the shower head, as you were. Okay, let's go back up into the saloon. Another feature that I really love about this boat is the fact that over here, or under here, you have got a control. And there we go, yeah, look. So this wire is fixed to this control panel, which you can pretty much take anywhere around the boat with you. So if you're sitting out in the cockpit while still underway, you can control the boat while sat out there, or you can even go up onto the coach roof if you wanted to as well. Uh, there's always the problem when you're filming with one hand and trying to lift stuff with the other. So yeah, that's another feature that I really like. I think it's a really good touch. Uh, but what do you think of this boat so far? Make sure you let me know in the comments. There's so many favorite features aboard this boat that I could be here all day talking about them. If you want to see the full yacht tour, uh, then make sure you head over to my main channel, Yacht Boy. I'll give a bit more of a technical tour in terms of the specifications of this boat uh, and anything else as well, which I think you probably would want to know about. The boat is for sale at the moment. If you're interested in finding out how much, get my breath back and head to the link in the video description. Uh, but yeah, one other feature that I have to show you, which of course is one of my favorite features on most boats, is that radar mast. The reason why I like it is because if you want to, you can manually retract it as well. It does have a hydraulic strut there. But yeah, if you're gonna be doing uh, inland waterway cruising, all those low bridges, then that means that you can get access to areas most other boats can't, well, that have a higher air draft. We've got some solar panels on there as well. But yeah, thank you for joining me on this favorite features tour. Don't forget to give the video a like if you haven't already. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.